Now for those of you who might already know something about refrigeration, the refrigerant cycle can be uh, described on what we call a pH chart. Pressure and enthalpy. This is a measure of heat. This is pressure. And as I said, you have a low pressure side and a high pressure side. This is a wet region. Over here, the refrigerant is liquid. Over here, it is gas. And an isotherm I've drawn three isotherms on here. Isotherm is a constant temperature line. Comes down, goes across, and goes down. Those are three isotherms. Now, the, we take the refrigerant from the low pressure side, pump it up to the high pressure side. You can see since it's crossing the isotherms, it's getting hotter, so it's hot. We then put it through the condenser in this direction. This is where it rejects heat. We dump the heat outside. It comes down. It gets wet. Wetter and wetter here. Then we expand it down to the low pressure. That's in the expansion valve or capillary tubes. Then we run it in the evaporator in this direction, that's when it absorbs heat. We have that part inside the house or inside the car and we get the cool air from it from that. As it goes across, it becomes more gaseous. Then it gets out here and it's all gas and we pump it up again. That's the refrigeration cycle on a pH chart. Maybe a little heavy for some of you, but when you get into refrigeration, you'll know what a pH chart is, and the whole subject's quite interesting.